Guys, when you're looking for a gift for your dad, or if you're a dad, uh, sometimes finding that right gift can be a little difficult. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Father's Day gift guide from GetZone.com. We've been doing this for a number of years. It always has some really cool gift ideas. Uh, this is the Umarex Emerge, and it's an air rifle. has a 12-round magazine capacity, and yet it's the breakdown option. This is great for just plinking, for pest control, or even for survival. And we also have a craft holster, the Raptor, and this is a cross-draw holster. The quality of craft holsters is excellent. And I've been using craft holsters as my regular EDC ever since I was introduced to them. I mean, the quality is just there. And we have a number of other items. We have some firearms also to take a look at. And we really appreciate GetZone.com for putting all this together. Guys, they are the number one Second Amendment friendly video platform out there. Craft holsters. Let me tell you what, guys, uh, we did a craft holster review uh, with one of the earlier gift guides. And ever since then, I have been wearing craft holsters. So now they've introduced their Raptor series, and these are cross draw holsters. It's funny, I haven't seen a cross draw holster in a while. But these are excellent for driving and for hunting, or if you have shoulder pain in your dominant arm. Uh, it allows you to be able, instead of to drawing it from your right side or your strong side, you're able to draw it from your weak side. Especially if you're going on long trips and you just want to carry your gun in that fashion. This is excellent. Well, the, the Raptor uh, comes in Italian grain leather. I mean, it's really well done. Uh, this is the mahogany version. This is the black. And it just has that really quality feel to it with the lacquer. Uh, and this is a belt loop, and then we have a belt tunnel. Uh, this is for 1.5 inch belts. The inside is very well finished, double stitched all the way around and all the important parts that are going to retain this holster. Now this one piece that comes out around the mouth of the holster, uh, it just allows it to retain its shape. You don't have to worry about it collapsing. And while we live in a world of Kydex, uh, there's something about leather that's just, I don't know, I just love it. It's so comfortable to wear. Uh, and then here with the P365 XL, I mean, it goes in really smooth. It draws really smooth. Now, I had to have a little bit of a break-in period, uh, which I put this in a Ziploc bag, stuffed it in there for one day. Uh, I used one of their small break-in kits and just put some of their break-in liquid in the parts that were kind of like the channel here and around the trigger guard. And it didn't take long for this to break in. Now here we have a 1911, uh, a larger pistol and definitely very uh, capable. Uh, but you can see, I mean, this just rides at a 65 degree cant and you wear it at about 10 o'clock and it just gives you access to your firearm very easily. So there is a good place for cross draw. It does have a shirt guard right here and this just helps protect you uh, when it comes up, uh, and it, you know, for sweat, different things. Uh, and it gives you a little more comfort. One of the things about the 65 degree cant is that with it riding on your belt, it keeps the grip from pointing into your gut. Uh, and it makes it just more comfortable. Even with this full-size 1911, uh, it's just, just a very comfortable carry. Now, one of the things about this holster is that you typically want to wear a shirt, something over it, uh, and you know you can just pull it back, draw the firearm, and shoot it. I mean, it is a very smooth draw. And it's very natural. Once you practice a little bit, it doesn't take long to be very proficient with this type draw. I mean, we're so used to pulling it off our strong side. And so this just makes it really easy to draw from your weak side, cross over, and you can bring the firearm right out. I mean, I have not shot a lot of cross draw, and yet it was really simple to, to get accustomed to it. So to me, even if you're not carrying this on a regular basis in cross draw, there are applications. This gives you quick access to your gun, and it really can save your life in a tight situation. I'll tell you guys, if you've ever had leather, you're going to really love these holsters. The Umarex Emerge. This is a 22 caliber, or you can get this in .177 caliber. This has the TNT gas system, which is turbo nitrogen technology. It has an all-weather polymer stock. It comes with a 4x32 scope with mounts. And you can see the Picatinny rails attached. Now, while it's very simple, there are some pretty cool features. So if you don't want to mess with all the compressed gas, you just want something simple that you can just pull out and use, this is a great rifle for that. It comes with a 12-shot rotary magazine, easy to load, it's all metal. 
and each time you break down the rifle, the magazine rotates for your next round. Just a small cover plate that you remove, and then you can load each of your pellets in. I mean, it makes it really simple. It attaches really easily, and there is a magnet set up where it'll just lock into place. It has a fully adjustable rear sight with fiber optic rods. And the front sight has a hood around it, but it has an orange fiber optic rod, which contrasts with the green fiber optic on the rear sight. And the rings that come with the rifle are see-through sights, so you can actually access your sights right through the rings, or you can use the optic. Stuck has a nice rubber butt pad, has a cheek piece, and also has texturing around the pistol grip. And then nice texturing around the foregrip. But it does have a polymer covering over the end of the barrel, and this is their silent air technology. It's an integrated muzzle brake device that muffles the sound. And I'll tell you guys, this is one of the quietest air rifles that I've shot, especially the brake action type. We have an adjustable two-stage trigger, and the safety is right here at the front. So it's really easy to access. The Emerge is definitely a pleasure to shoot. It's quiet, soft recoil. Uh, the brake action, again, just makes it simple where you're not messing with compressed gas. And honestly, this is great for small game. It's great for plinking, target practice. But one thing I like it for is for a survival option. Um, again, it's quiet. You don't have to worry about filling it up with gas. It just works. And the velocity on a 12 grain bullet is about 800 feet per second. Really simple to pull that barrel down. It takes a little strength, but it does with most guns. But once you get behind that trigger, I mean, this is a very accurate little rifle. Whether it's on paper or if you're shooting little small clays. Uh, you know, it just makes it a lot of fun, and of course, taking it out with the family, it's just a great way to introduce them to firearms. Next, we have the SIG X Macro. Uh, guys, this is part of the SIG P365 family. Uh, this is a 17-round magazine, and one of the big things about this handgun is how thin it is. It's 1.1 inches in width, which to me is one of the most important factors with concealed carry. Uh, getting that really thin grip, it rides close to the body, that thin slide. And so this is really, even though it's a almost full-size pistol silhouette, it's a great concealed carry option. Now it's got front and rear cocking serrations. It has night sights, which are the SIG light night sights. Uh, we have a optics ready plate, which is for shield RMS, and you can mount that directly. Uh, and then also we have a nice beaver tail. The texturing is excellent. Flat face trigger, which is really optimal for getting good accuracy and that the way that trigger pulls back. Uh, and then we have a standard Picatinny rail, uh, which the original P365 and the XL have a proprietary rail. Uh, but the big thing about this pistol that really kind of changes the game is the built-in compensator on just the slide. It's not on the barrel. The barrel actually ends right at the end of the slide here but this allows for the gas pressures to shoot up and it keeps the muzzle extremely flat. I mean, it is really a pleasure to shoot uh, and this just really helps to keep it right on target. Uh, the barrel's only 3.1 inches. In fact, when I bring it back, you can see it's a little short barrel compared to where the dust cover on the frame goes. And so it's just really a uh, very unique firearm. This is really a soft shooting handgun and yet it gives you that full capacity and it gives you that muzzle break, which really helps, or the comp, uh, to keep that muzzle super flat. I mean, this can be used for concealed carry, but it can also be an excellent gun for self-defense because you have full control over it and you have a full grip on the pistol. And so to me, SIG really kind of knocked it out of the ballpark with this one. Uh, we're seeing firearms that are becoming really thin, and yet they're holding the same round capacity of the full-size Brothers. And so it's really something that I'm loving to see. So while shooting it at the range, again, guys, you can see that it is a very flat shooting gun. And that allows you to get those second, third follow-up shots really quickly with those sights remaining right on the target. The P365 series of pistols is one of the most popular out there. And to me, this is the king of the hill. The Ruger Super Wrangler. This is something new from Ruger. Uh, and this Ruger Single Six has been extremely popular since the 1950s. It was Ruger's first handgun. Uh, and single action is so, it just takes it back a notch. I mean, it's so slow to load, slow to shoot, but man, it is a pleasure. 
and it brings you back to those old western days or the old cowboy movies. Uh, with this, you pull the hammer back to fire the round, and then you pull the trigger and it fires. Uh, it has six round capacity, and it has 22 long rifle, and it also comes with a 22 magnum cylinder. Now, obviously, this is on the heels of the Ruger Single Six, and they are great guns, but the Super Wrangler is coming in at half the price of your single six convertible. And when you have 22, even 22 Magnum, the recoil is really low. It's a lot of fun to shoot. They're just great firearms. The Super Wrangler came after the regular Wrangler, which was just in 22 long rifle. Had fixed sights, uh, pretty much the same pistol, but just a few advances with the Super Wrangler. But the convertible is definitely a big part of it. Now, one of the reasons why this is half the price of your single six is that we have an aluminum alloy grip. Uh, which that's what even your Blackhawks have those. Uh, but then we have an aluminum alloy frame. And in shooting 22 and 22 Magnum, it's not that vital to have a steel frame. And so they cut the cost by adding this. Of course, we have a cold hammer forge barrel, and this particular one is five and a half inches. It does come in three and three quarter inch all the way out to seven and a half inch. Uh, we have adjustable sights, which is a big plus from the original Wrangler. And then we have a removable sight on the front, and it gives you a really good sight picture. Uh, loading gate right here, and you can just turn that cylinder. Polycarbonate grips, which also will take your single six grips or even your Blackhawk grips. And this fits in any of your single six holsters. Uh, this is in the black Cerakote finish. It does come in a bronze Cerakote as well with a black cylinder, and then it also comes in a silver finish. While on the Ruger Single Six, it has a fluted 22 cylinder. Here we have both that are non-fluted, which just cuts down on the cost a little bit. And the 22 Magnum cylinder is marked. In fact, I've got the 22 Magnum cylinder installed. Uh, it's marked right on the cylinder, so you don't have to be concerned about which one you're putting in. But one thing that's big about the Ruger is it's very safe to carry. Uh, it does have what they call the transfer bar. And if you'll look right here, you'll see the bar as it comes up. And this just helps to protect the firing pin uh, from inadvertently being hit if the hammer's hit. But guys, taking the Super Wrangler out to the range, I mean, it's just, again, it's slow to load, but slow to shoot, but it brings a lot of joy. And there's just something about taking a single action revolver out to the range. This is just part of the firearm world, and yet it's just a pleasure. Great gun for new shooters, those that, uh, young shooters, uh, you know, because the recoil is so mild. And because the ammunition, especially in 22 long rifle, is fairly inexpensive. The great thing about 22 Magnum is that you're getting a more lethal caliber, which actually could be used for self-defense. And of course, these cylinders are all steel and they're beautifully blued. But guys, if you want to get something that you can just take out to the range and enjoy, this really slows things down a lot. And I highly recommend having a single action revolver in your collection. And if it's 22, that's all the more better. All right, we saved the big boy for last, the XDM Elite 10 millimeter, 4.5 inch barrel OSP from Springfield Armory. Guys, when it comes to 10 millimeter, I mean, there is mystery around the beauty of 10 millimeter. Uh, definitely more recoil because you have better ballistic capability. Uh, but this is excellent for hunting. I just got back from Tennessee and had some encounters with the bears and having a 10 millimeter at my side was very comforting. Uh, this is a full-size pistol. They do make a compact version of this, which is excellent as well. Now, one of the things about this pistol is that it carries 16 plus one of 10 millimeter, which is massive. Uh, one thing that I do love about this gun in particular is to the ergonomics of the grip. I mean, it's just a very grippable, handgun for 10 millimeter. A lot of times when you get 10 millimeter, it's a thicker grip, longer grip, because 10 millimeter is just longer than your nine millimeter. Uh, we have our mag release just right there in the right place, but it's ambidextrous, ambidextrous slide releases. And also it's optics ready. This includes a number of adapter plates as well. We have one of the hex optics on here, which is just a great optic. Uh, of course, you have your U-notch sight at the back, and then we have a fiber optic sight at the front, 
which these are excellent sights just in themselves. So whether you go with the red dot or not, I mean, you have a really good sight system. Trigger is what they call their meta trigger, and it's a match enhanced trigger assembly, a very crisp break, uh, and great reset. And then we have our Picatinny rail slots here at the front. Uh, one thing that the XD series has, or the XDM, is that we have a grip safety, which is a passive safety where the trigger cannot fire. It's a dead trigger unless the grip safety is employed. And so a lot of people like that, and it's definitely been part of the 1911 world for a long time. We do have a short mag whale here at the bottom, which just allows for your mags to go in a lot easier. But this is removable if you want to shorten that grip up just a little bit. Uh, one of the great things about 10 millimeter is great for hunting, great for just target shooting, uh, and you can get all kind of different type loads. You can get the buffalo bore, and then you can get all the way down to just Winchester white box, which, you know, will be a lot less recoil. But there's, it's still manageable. About the same ballistics you're getting out of a 357 Magnum, but instead of six or seven rounds, you're getting 16 plus one, 17 rounds. And that is huge especially if you're on a hike by yourself in the middle of the Smoky Mountains or maybe in Colorado, because those grizzlies are big. Now guys, again, when you're taking your 10 millimeter out of the range, you will have more recoil. It's just part of the round. It's just the way it fires. Uh, and again, there are so many different ammo choices. And we were shooting Fiocchi 180 grain, but again, you can dial that up to really high pressures to be able to just, it's really capable of defending you against two-legged or four-legged predators. But the, with the XDM, with the grip, it's just a very smooth shooting handgun. And it's honestly a pleasure to shoot. Yes, you know you're shooting 10 millimeter. But the great thing is, is you're shooting 10 millimeter. I mean, it is one of my favorite calibers. So guys, hopefully we've given you some great ideas for Father's Day. Uh, whether it's the Umarex Merge with that 12 round capacity or Kraft Holsters Cross Draw uh, or the other guns that we've checked out. And guys, your fathers are very special and it's good to honor them with something that they can really enjoy. And again, we really appreciate GetZone.com for putting all this together. And again, they are the most Second Amendment supportive video platform out there. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. And so today we're gonna to take a look at the Father's Day Get Zone Holiday Gift Guide. Father's Day Gift Guide puts out a good quality holster and I'm showing the wrong freaking side. The Ruber, the Ruber, the Ruber. <laughs> What's a Ruber? The Ruger Super Sing, the Ruber, <laughs> God. the rubber. Marex <laughs> Emerge to make it really quiet. So guys, hopefully we, okay. when it comes to looking, when it comes to, Guys, when it comes to looking for a gift for your dad, please don't call me. <laughs>